Greetings. This is a planetary alignment and earthquake watch for January 6 through January 10, 2014. We're looking at an animated view of a series of strong planetary alignments which may foreshadow one or two earthquakes registering from 7.5 to 8 magnitude during this five day window. We're now looking at the January ephemeris with the main celestial influence being Jupiter which will be holding 15 degrees respectively over the first few weeks of the month. Now we have the interactions with the Earth which will be moving through the alignment between Jupiter and Sun on January 5 and 6. Venus will then move through 15 degrees on January 8 and 9 and if that wasn't enough we have Mercury moving through 15 degrees towards the end of this watch January 10 into January 11. Now it is worth noting that on January 4, 2014 at 11.59 UTC the Earth will be moving to its closest point on its orbit of the Sun and that is called perihelion. Now this does coincide with very strong earthquakes felt here on the Earth. I will leave a small list of the recent earthquakes that have coincided with perihelion. But we do have this time round a series of strong planetary alignments, especially the involvement of Jupiter which could coincide with much stronger earthquakes than we have been receiving over the last few years. We're now looking at the last five years of earthquakes at around perihelion and we see that predominantly all southern hemisphere from Indonesia to South America with in 2012 the earthquake in the Izu Islands being the only one in the northern hemisphere. We're now looking at the last two occasions the earth moved through the Jupiter Sun alignment and also while at perihelion and that occurred back in 2002 where we had a 7.2 magnitude in the Vanuatu region and also in 1989 a magnitude 6.6 .6 in the Bismarck Sea, Indonesia. The important planetary alignments geocentrically are the Sun opposing Jupiter on January 5th at 21.11 UTC, January 7 Mercury conjoins Venus at 2200 and on January 11 the Sun conjoins Venus at 12.24 UTC. I'm now going to attempt to plot a map region on the Earth that I feel will be most at risk for this potential major earthquake and my number one area for concern will be the northeastern corner of the Pacific Ocean or at high latitudes and I am targeting the exact Sun position at the time of the alignment of Earth, Sun and Jupiter. Specifically focusing on regions of southeastern Alaska, the Gulf of Alaska or the Kodiak Islands region in the Alaskan Peninsula. These will be the main areas for concern for a potential 7.2 to 7.5 magnitude earthquake on either January 5, 6 or 7. We're now looking at an image of the solar corona of a very large positive polarity coronal hole formation which is located in the northern hemisphere from December 19 through to December 22nd and moving through an earth facing position during that time frame. Now we haven't seen anything of significance in terms of earthquakes at high latitudes and I do feel a seismic reset or a seismic adjustment is possible early in January from this very large coronal hole formation. We're now going to be concentrating on Venus from January 7 through to January 10 as it moves through the same alignment of Earth Sun Jupiter two days later on January 7 and then it forms the alignment of Earth Venus Sun on January 10. So we have a series of connections and simultaneous alignments involving Earth, Venus and Jupiter during this window and I feel there should be an even larger earthquake potential during this time frame. Now having a look at the past planetary alignments and major earthquakes that have been registered since 1923 in the Japan Kuril Islands region and there are some strong similarities with the alignments of Earth, Sun and Venus. Now these are significant as they have some very powerful earthquakes associated. Now isolating the main alignment of Earth, Sun, Venus we see an interesting symmetry and some very large earthquakes, some of the very largest earthquakes over the last hundred years. Now what is interesting is that we also have to consider Mercury, Mars and Neptune also being in alignment which has featured in the past. I am concerned that there is a very large earthquake potential based on these planetary interactions and connections. Now using the exact Sun position at the time of the alignment of Venus, Sun and Jupiter and unfortunately it appears that the Japan region could be at risk for a very large earthquake forecasted to be close to 8 magnitude during this watch period. Now the early morning hours of January 8 the alignment of Jupiter, Sun and Venus takes place and the western side of the Pacific Ocean I feel will be the main area of focus, specifically the regions of Hokkaido, Japan, off the east coast of Honshu, Japan and the Kuril Islands. 
I do feel that one of these regions could receive a significant event, and I'm concerned that it may be a very large one which could produce a tsunami threat as well. So it's definitely a time frame we need to monitor from January 6 through to January 10. And for those interested in this line of work and research, I do have a newsletter available for download in PDF file format, where each newsletter is a comprehensive look of the important astronomical, celestial and lunar influences, as well as utilising precise ephemeris data and orbital harmonics. A link will be provided in the description box for the December and January newsletters for anyone who's interested. And that's my planetary alignment and earthquake watch for January 6 through 10. 2014. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.